Paul Hafner, Application Product Specialist. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the full boom breakaway that we have on the Rogator. Now, every machine out there has full boom breakaway, but none of them do it quite like what we do with the Rogator. This is our 120 foot rear frame, which is now being used on our 90s and 100s, so all of them are going to be the same way. The way our competitors do it is how we used to do it, especially on our smaller 90 and 100s where I would have a swing cylinder for the right and left boom and a separate cylinder that's handling the breakaway. What we found with that is both booms are now attached to that same cylinder, so whatever happens to the right boom, if it's getting pushed back, forces the left boom to come forward. Not a problem usually if you're getting into a breakaway situation or anything like that, but think about every time you're turning on the headlands, you're coming around one boom's moving really fast and it wants to push forward and that forces the other one to come back. So as you're coming out of your headlands, lining up your next swath, those booms start to waggle a little bit. So as your spray is turning on, getting under and over applications as the machine's going straight. So this takes care of a lot of that for us. We've eliminated that center breakaway cylinder and now the breakaway is actually incorporated into the swing cylinder. Here you can see the very large cylinder. This side here is the swing. And this chrome piece you'll see right here is the actual breakaway part. And then it comes to a solid mount there. So the right and left booms are not attached to each other. So whatever happens to the right boom has no effect on the left. So when you're coming out of that headland, your booms are going to snap to position and you're going to have an even spray coming out of the headlands. Another portion that they do is there's some cushioning built into these cylinders. So as you're running, those booms will come back into the spray position. They'll come forward a little bit when I'm slowing down into the headlands. That load of that boom moving back and forth is all taken up right here. So we're not putting that stress on the rest of the framework of the boom. And after a bit of running, you'll see it'll polish about three quarters of an inch of that cylinder. You'll see a, a shiny area. And that's that cushioning working all the time whenever this machine is speeding up or slowing down.